Hey strong people, Kale Beck here from startingstrongman.com and I have some news today about uh, the Rogue Invitational which is a sanctioned CrossFit competition that's going on this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, May 18th and 19th at Rogue HQ in Columbus, Ohio. So this isn't a video about CrossFit, I'll leave that up to, to Arm and Hammer, but Along with the CrossFit competition, they're going to ha be having a couple uh, record breaker events for strong men and strong women uh, during the weekend. And I think this is an awesome opportunity and it shows that Rogue continues to support and uh, push a strong man forward and a great opportunity for the athletes. The three athletes involved are going to be Martins Lisi's uh, current uh, runner up at the Arnold Classic and fourth place at World's Strongest Man. Uh, Leifa Engels and Kristen Rhodes. Leifa, um, of course, has won uh, the Arnold Classic in the past and middleweight everything. Uh, Kristen Rhodes, maybe the most decorated uh, strong woman of all time with countless America's Strongest Women. Was it eight or so? Eight? Nine? Crazy. Anyways, uh, so they're going to be doing three different events. Uh, Martins is going to be doing uh, the Steinborn squat, which he holds the world record in, and a farmer's walk, and um, Leifa and Kristen are going to be doing the monster dumbbell and farmer's walk. So Leifa Ingalls and Kristen Rhodes both set a new world record on the monster dumbbell, circus dumbbell, whatever you want to call it, at the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio earlier this year, just a couple months ago. On very short notice, they both hit 165 pounds for two repetitions, and they had a joint world record. This year, they will uh, be going up to, they'll be starting at 170 pounds, and then they will go on to 175 pound dumbbell if both the athletes are successful at 170, and they go to 175, they will be doing as many repetitions as possible in 90 seconds. So if they do, you know, if one hits three and the other two, then the new world record would be whoever hit three reps. Uh, they will also be looking to establish a new world record in the farmer's walks. And this is huge because uh, I've been asked what some of these records are. I try to keep track of current records um, just loosely on startingstrongman.com. If you go on there and look in the menu, it says strongman records. I don't keep track of moving events just because there's so many variables. I mean, uh, the static lifts, it's a little more, you know, apples to apples. Uh, but I think this is a big deal that we're establishing that these are set records for uh, strong women in some of these events. Because really, like, I, you know, I, it's kind of my job to know these things, and I really didn't have a, a great idea. Uh, so to do that, they will um, be doing a farmer's walk with 115 kilograms per hand. That is 258.29 pounds, so just under 260 pounds. And it's going to be the fastest over uh, 20 meters, which is about 65 feet. If no one completes the entire course, then a distance of will be awarded. Whoever does that course the fastest, if both complete it, will have the new world record. Uh, Martins Lisi's will also be looking to uh, break his own record in the Steinborn squat he set at the Arnold Classic and I believe it was 2018 with uh, 255 kilos slash 560 pounds. I imagine he'll push that up by about two kilos or so. And he's also going to be looking to break Lawrence Chalet's Guinness Farmer's Walk World Record, which uh, Lawrence set in 2011, uh, carrying, you know, it carried uh, 150 kilograms, which is 330 pounds over 20 meters in 6.71 seconds. I don't know if they're doing that heavier. Let me see if it actually says. I have some of the information here. Sorry, a little unprepared. Yeah, I don't know exactly um, if Martinez is going to be doing that heavier and they're going to try to establish a new record or if he's going to try to beat that speed events, but 6.71 seconds is pretty damn fast. You know, of course, Lauren Shelley is one of the fastest there is. Uh, so good luck to both of the athletes. Uh, this is um, oh, there's also a live stream for the event. It should be on Rogue Fitness's YouTube channel, which I'm sure you can find yourself. Approximate times 
are 6.40 to 7.05 p.m., so it's about a 15-minute block. They want to get both done in for the Monster Dumbbell and the Steinborn Squat on uh, Saturday night. And these are uh, Columbus, Ohio local time, so that's, I believe, the Central Standard Time. And on Sunday from about 1.40 to 2 p.m., uh, the Farmer's Walk is going to be going on with the women doing it first, followed by uh, Martine's uh, setup next. Thanks for watching. I'm Kale Beck. Uh, any thoughts on if who's going to break it? How much more? Who else would be a good uh, candidate to do one of these future uh, world record breakers events? I think it's a awesome opportunity for a strongman uh, get in front of the big CrossFit audience and just show how amazing our athletes are. A lot of fans from all over the world, I I am sure, are going to be tuning in for. Uh, the CrossFit Invitational live stream. It's going to get interrupted by the heaviest lifts of the weekend by the strong men and women. And, you know, this is, uh, it's, I think there's going to be a ton of viewers on this. First off, Rogue has such a great media team. Uh, you know, they just showed the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio uh, on CBS, and they put that whole thing together, I believe. And on top, on top of that, they're doing, I think, who's invited to the Rogue Invitational is the top 10 at last year's CrossFit Games, plus just uh, special invites to past legends. I think Rich Filming's competing individual again, and people like Jason Klepa. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But So it's like not just the who's the best in the world at CrossFit, but who's been the best in the past and has a huge following. So that's going to generate a ton of um, viewers and eyes on it, and then you know they're going to... Be interrupted by Martins doing a Steinborn squat, and you know Kristen Rhodes hosting and Leafa hosting a 175 pound dumbbell over their head with one arm, with one hand, and uh, you know people say a lot of things about CrossFit, but it's opened up a lot of doors like this. It's allowed Rogue to grow into a company uh, of the size and caliber that they have, which um, you know then they they just appreciate strength and athleticism of all types of strength sports. And they've, you know, went over to supporting more powerlifting and strongman and, you know, putting on events like this, uh, prize money for the rogue record breaker in, um, you know, Columbus was $5,000 a pop. I assume this would be similar. So that could, you know, you know, the athletes could be walking away with about 10 grand after that weekend. That's a nice payday for just doing a couple lifts. Um, so again, if you want to tune in, it's going to be on Rogue Fitness, the YouTube channel. Let me know your thoughts. What else would make a good Rogue Record Breaker? Uh, no real World's Strongest Man news yet. Uh, of course, again, the Arnold Strongman South Africa is coming up. I'm going to look at some of the comments I got on the last video, which I'm going to try to turn into a, a newer thing and uh, answer some of them. Uh, someone asked me about a live stream for the Arnold uh, South Africa. I'm pretty sure there has been in the past. I would just uh, pay attention to the Arnold, uh, Arnold Sports YouTube, the Arnold Sports Facebook, the Arnold South Africa's Facebook, etc. And of course, you know my uh, my social media is at Starting Strongman and at Let Kale Lift. If I see anything like that, I always try to share it. Um, I got a correction that UK Strongest Man is what uh, Dwyer won last year. I knew it was a big Ultimate Strongman show. Just was a little fuzzy on the spot on the wit, which what which one it was. People say Pat is the face of Irish strongman. Uh, now, since James Finley has apparently retired and they're rooting for him, yeah, I, I think this is a big step up. David Baden um, said the dark horse vote that Furman wins the farmers. That would be incredible if he does. Uh, um, again, that's definitely a dark horse. Um, Someone said that they think uh, JF Caron will have a good advantage with the new format for World's Strongest Man. Very experienced and does well at one day shows like World's Strongest, like uh, World's Ultimate Strongman Dubai. And he's taken fifth at the last three World's Strongest Mans. I just hope his hamstring's healthy. That's what worries me. But yeah, I think JF Caron's always a threat, especially with such static events and no vehicle pull this year. Do you think uh, Yitzi Kramer will beat Kieliszkowski on a truck pull? I would say no, that is unlikely. And someone else asked me, does Brian Shaw have to qualify for the Arnold Strongman Classic or he's guaranteed? No uh, qualifying spots at the Arnold Strongman Classic are guaranteed. Every year, every athlete has to re-qualify by either winning one of 
the Arnold uh, World Series events like the Arnold South Africa or the Arnold Classic the previous year, the Arnold Amateur, or accumulating points to get the two wildcard spots. I'm Kale Beck. Thanks for watching. Follow at Let Kale Lift. Follow at Starting Strongman. Follow the athletes at the Rogue Record Breakers Instagrams. They'll probably have uh, you know their stories and stuff. Uh, they'll probably have the most up-to-date information, and I'll try to repost that on uh, Starting Strongman when, when I see it.